Out of the hype surrounding the Valk 4, darkness hides its true nature. What's poppin' guys? And today, we'll find that out. Looking into the box, the cube is bundled with a cleaning cloth, multiple cards, and an extra set of springs, which, in my opinion, adds to the cube's price of $40, which is not really needed. Aside from its price, the Valk 4 comes in 60mm and 142g in black and stickerless shade and standard and strong magnet versions. These qualities make the cube compact and comfortable. The main quality of this cube is its speed, in which it is one of the most formidable 4x4s in the market in terms of speed alone. The Valk 4 also carries a soft, crunchy, elastic, and flexy feel. So you may also feel that when turning and solving. From these, the 4x4 has a relatively good 3x3 stage. And when the layers are mixed together when turning, it is actually not that bad compared to other 4x4s. However, those are where the good qualities end. What you have just witnessed was a pop on the Valk 4. Very unfortunate, but let's get into why. Disappointingly, the cube's corner cutting is subpar, with regular cutting up to 1 and 1 fourth of a piece and reverse half a piece, and varying cuts for wide turns. In addition, the cube sometimes overshoots and inner slices feel jarring on the strong version, making PLL parity quite uncomfortable though M slices still work well. All these qualities come up to a 4x4 that pops and locks up often. Because of this the cube isn't that comfortable to turn as they say though it may be compensated by the soft and crunchy feeling. But in terms of performance the Valk 4 really isn't the best performer though it is still better than super budget 4x4s. When the Valk 4 was released in May of 2019, everyone expected it to be an Aosu GTS 2 killer and the best 4x4 on the market, building the utmost hype around this cube. However, in reality, the Valk 4 definitely does not live up to these expectations at all. Yes, the feeling is fast and soft, but these are definitely overshadowed by its subpar performance, corner cutting, stability and all even with setup and tensioning since having it too tight can result in many lockups and having it too loose can result in many many pops overall the Valk 4 is good but just not good enough so what i can say is that don't splurge 40 dollars and instead just go get an Aosu gts 2m if you're looking for the best 4x4 on the market Thank you guys so much for spending your few minutes here with me and for watching and I'll see you in the next video. The rest of this is just the rest of the 4x4 solve and I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep up and guys. Peace.